Hello everyone and welcome to a video where I speculate about the next DLC that will be here sooner or later. Probably later. But that's not gonna stop me from speculating because I am excited that one of my favorite factions, the Greenskins, are getting even more stuff. Even though there are definitely some factions that could use more love than the Greenskins. <coughs> Vampire comes in Orca. <coughs> but I'll take it because there are definitely some things that I think is missing from the Greenskins. So, when it comes to the Legendary Lord, we already know it's Gorbat Ironclaw, and I don't know what his deal is gonna be other than what they've already said, but I would guess that he will at least have some kind of quest or start close-ish to the Empire, probably Iron Rock, so we can properly invade the Empire since that was kind of his whole thing. And even if they decide to put him out in the middle of nowhere for some reason, I'll still invade the Empire, cause someone's gotta invade the Empire proper, and who better than Gorbad Ironclaw? But I'm not here to talk about Gorbad or do bad orc accents, I'm not a lore guy, and I don't want to sit here and speculate. At least not about him. I wanna talk about what units I wanna see in the next DLC, and which of them I think we might actually see. So let's start with my favorite, and one that is pretty much confirmed already. Unless CA is cruel and likes to hint at things that we won't get just to mess with us. And it's of course the biggest murder meatball, the Colossal Squig. And I freaking love squigs, so this is my biggest wish for the Greenskins. And if we get it, or maybe I should just be confident and say when we get it, I imagine it'll be a very fast but fragile anti-infantry monster that you kinda just throw into blobs of infantry and watch it have a good time. And when it dies, it explodes into to more tiny squigs while doing a bunch of damage probably. And it actually had a similar ability on the tabletop. Now, I've never actually played the tabletop game, I just like building and painting them, so I'm not exactly an expert on it, but I don't have to be because I have access to the internet and I can look things up. And there could even be a regiment of renowned one because there was a named colossal squig hanging up with Scarsnake called the Big Redden that was said to be as big as a giant, so they could just make a bigger and better one as a regiment of renown. So that's the squig I think we'll see, but there are more squigs that I'd like to see in the game while we're talking squigs, but they will become increasingly less likely, at least I think they're less likely than the colossal squig at the very least. And the first of these is the mangler squigs, which are just large squigs chained together that are sent into combat to wreak havoc. And I think they would be monstrous infantry squigs, if you can call it infantry. But collectively the two squigs would be about the size of a troll and uh, like other squig units they would probably be anti-infantry, high AP but really squishy and easy to rampage. But since they are two squigs chained together they're probably a bit slower than normal squigs since I imagine it would be hard to run fast if you're two murder meatballs attached to each other with chains. It's kind of like a three-legged race, but with more death than normal. And there's still one more squig on my list that I would love, but this one is even more wishful thinking. It's the squig gobba. And it's such a dumb unit, but I love it. It's a big squig that spits smaller exploding squig as kind of a squig artillery. So I heard you like squigs, so I put squigs in your squigs so your squigs can shoot squigs at other squigs. So I don't think we'd actually get this one, but it would be fun. So, stepping away from squigs for a second, the next thing I really want is Savage Orc variants. Specifically for the Savage Orc Biggins. Because I'm not a huge fan that there are only anti-large Savage Orc Biggins, since that's kind of their elite infantry, if you want to call it that. Especially if you're playing an all Savage Orc army with Wurzag or for some other reason. So I would like for the current unit to just be Great Axis or Dual Axe Infantry as kind of a generalist with AP and decent stats, but no bonus versus large. Or maybe with bonus versus infantry and instead give us Savage Orc Biggins with big stabas, which is a giant spear carried by two orcs at a time and they would be the anti-large unit and I don't think we'll actually get this because it might be a little bit too silly for CA but that's when the greenskins are at their best when they're over the top silly in a kind of violent way and there are actually models with this for the tabletop I actually got one of them in a box somewhere but realistically I think it's more likely that we just get a spare unit if they give us variants but a unit that I actually think we will get is the Goblin Spear Chuckas, which is just Goblin Bolt Throwers. And while I like Goblins a lot, I'm more lukewarm on this one. It would be nice, but I'm not really excited for it. I rarely use a lot of Goblin Artillery anyway, since I like to make pretty offensive Greenskin armies that I want to rush enemies with. So it's not something that I would use too much, especially since we already have decent artillery options. But I guess it's nice to have the option if we really need a long-range anti-large unit. 
And then I kinda just hope for more variants, because I don't think there's much more to add to the greenskins, unless they want to start to add some snotlings or troglagobs, whatever that is. So I would like some black orcs with hand weapons and shields, so we get a tankier version of them, or alternatively get dual wielding black orcs for anti-infantry. But we already have the immortals, and I kinda think it's neat that they fill a unique role that no other black orc really fill. Plus, I would rather give normal Orc Boy Biggins dual weapons for anti-infantry variants so they can be a bit of an offensive powerhouse that's a bit more specialized and can do some really good damage against infantry or large depending on what you need. And that way Black Orcs remain as a good and tanky generalist because I don't think there should be dual weapon anti-infantry variants for both and if I just choose one I would rather have it on the big ones so there's a good reason to want to use them over Black Orcs. Because you would just use them as anti-infantry or anti-large damage dealers while the Black Orcs are tanky and deadly but not as specialized. So there would still be room for both in an army. And that's my wish list slash speculation I suppose for the next DLC. And the thing that I think is most likely is the Colossal Squig, since it's pretty much all but confirmed, then the Spirit Chuckus and probably some variants for the boys. Maybe even some cab variants since Gorbat is a bit of a pig cab guy. But I think the pig cab is fine as it is, but I suppose I wouldn't be sad for more of them. But what do you guys think we'll get and how many kinds of squigs do you want? Personally, I want all of them, plus some new ones that they just make up. Give me all the squigs! But that's it for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.